Love is not to possess, to own or imprison, nor to lose oneself and another. Love is to join and separate, to walk alone and together, to find a laughing freedom that lonely isolation does not permit. It is finally to be able to be who we really are. It is to be perfectly oneself and perfectly joined in permanent commitment to another and to one's inner self. Love only endures when it moves like waves, receding and returning gently or passionately, or moving lovingly like the tide and the moon's own predictable harmony, because finally, despite a child's scars or adult's deepest wounds, they are openly free to be who they really are and always secretly were. In the very core of their being, where true and lasting love can alone abide. Allie, Brendan, it is with great joy that we gather together to celebrate your union in marriage, to bring shared dreams and a mutual hope that binds you together in this loving commitment. 1 Corinthians 13 says this, Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs, Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. Always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. I want you to look at one another now, and I want you to remember this moment in your journey. Although this is not the beginning of your adventures together, the words that you share next with one another will indeed launch you into new waters, and you'll continue your adventures as husband and wife. Allie. I never would have thought that going to Griggs that night, I would have walked out meeting the one I'd spend the rest of my life with. And here we are, a little over eight years later, committing ourselves to life with one another by our side. Hallie, your adventurous spirit will never cease to amaze me. Hiking the mountains of Washington and Oregon to camping on the beaches of Florida, you and I have done it all. But what I'm most excited for is the new memories that you and I will make as husband and wife. Today, Hallie, I'm committing my life to you fully to love you more and more every day, and to never let us stop growing together. I'm the luckiest man alive to be standing here with my gorgeous bride. I could not be more excited for our lives and what's to come. Love you. Brendan, from the moment we met, it has been an adventure. You've captivated me by your drive to be the best version of yourself, the way that you value the people you love, and your yearning to serve others. I love that our story has always involved road trips from the get-go, traveling to rodeo every weekend at first, to camping all over the Pacific Northwest, and eventually driving coast to coast to our new home. Of course, the adventure of a road trip was sometimes not as expected, just like when we hiked Palouse Falls when we were 17, and my truck broke down in the middle of nowhere. We had to wait on that hot summer day for hours waiting to get towed. We were so hungry, and all I could find in my truck was a who knows how old little bag of fruit snacks. We counted them, split them up, and then rationed them, limiting ourselves to one fruit snack for every 30 minutes. <laughs> Looking back, that unexpected adventure has so perfectly represented what I love most about us. We take every obstacle together as an unbreakable team, make the most of every ordinary moment, and somehow always find a way to belly laugh, even when we're sweating through our clothes with barely any service and only two fruit snacks left to survive for who knows how long. Through so many milestones and challenges, you've been my safe space, my absolute best friend, and my biggest supporter. As we embark on this new and uncharted adventure of marriage, I vow to be an ear to listen and a shoulder to lean on. I vow to love you fiercely and faithfully for the rest of our lives. As soon as you walked through my door with a bummer lamp in your arms for Valentine's Day, I knew that you would be my husband someday. Saying I guess after you asked me to be your girlfriend was the greatest decision I've made. And today, I made an even better one by saying I do. I love you. Allie, Brendan, your marriage will flourish and strengthen when you commit yourselves to love, respect, and champion each other daily. As kindness begets kindness, dedication, compassion, and forgiveness begets the same. Treasure together what each of you brings to this relationship. And my belief for your marriage is that you will remain mindful as the years progress of the declaration that you're making to each other today. Now today is indeed a beautiful day, a joyful occasion, and above all, it's a blessed opportunity to wholeheartedly commit 
to the person that you've been called to love. Now because you, Allie, and you, Brendan, have desired each other in marriage, affirmed your love and faith to each other, sealing your vows and the giving and receiving of rings, I now proclaim you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. I know I felt like this before.